Infusionsoft has a really great report called the Lead Source ROI Report. It's kind of the bread and butter of all their marketing reports. You can find this by going to Infusionsoft, Marketing, and then Reports. When you get to the Reports listing, just scroll down and you'll see Lead Source ROI. There's also a Lead Source ROI by category where you can aggregate or roll up the lead sources by category. If you want to see what lead sources you have in your account, just hover over the Infusionsoft link and go to Marketing Settings. And in the settings, you can find all your lead sources. All these lead sources are created either by iTracker or by Infusionsoft. Uh, or you can log in and manually add a lead source. So for each lead source, you can also add a dollar amount for expenses or money spent per lead source. So this is where you would have all your different Facebook post lead sources or Google AdWords ads, different, different things like that. So the lead sources are very important and each contact should ultimately be assigned to a lead source. Uh, it's very important to maintain that. Otherwise, your lead source ROI report and some of your other marketing reports are going to be pretty worthless. Uh, so as long as you have good data inside your Infusionsoft account, you're going to get some really great reporting. Uh, so to help you maintain that data and manage your lead sources, we built a tool in iTracker called the Lead Source Organizational Feature. So I'm going to, build, I'm going to bring up this Lead Source ROI report. So inside the Lead Source ROI report, you can drill down by lead source and you can see the categories, the money spent on expenses, your revenue, your ROI percentage, how many contacts are assigned to that lead source, and of those contacts, how many are actually customers, and some other stats. So what I've done is I've created an Excel sheet, and this is the lead source ROI report, except I put it in Excel just so that I can kind of put some dummy data in here and show you kind of what's going on. So iTracker is going to give you the ability to give you these really defined lead sources. For instance, like being organic and then some keyword data. Or if you're using the URL builder, you can create different Facebook posts and then post them on your Facebook page and have some content here like URL builder if that's what you're posting about. If, uh, if it's a referral from a different website, you could get maybe like infusionsoftplugins.com or the www version depending on which version of the site they were referred by. Uh, so iTracker is going to give you this defined lead source. And then the lead source ROI report is going to give you stats by lead source. And you can enter these expenses. So let's just say that for the Infusionsoft Marketplace, I have a lead source called referral-marketplace.infusionsoft.com. And it's in the marketplace category. So instead of doing referral, I, I just created a category called marketplace. And let's say that I entered $100 for that expense, and of those customers, there were 20 contacts that came in from this lead source, and that resulted in 10 customers with a revenue of $200, which is a 50% ROI when you do the calculation from expense to revenue. And also you get a 50% contact to, conver to customer conversion ratio. So these are the stats you get from the lead source ROI report. Now the problem with this is that what if I also have another lead source called marketplace.infusionsoft.com and someone entered expenses for this lead source as well and there's contacts attached to it and maybe there's no customers so I get these different conversion percentages and these different ROI percentages when in reality these are really the same lead source and likewise for let's say Bing organic uh, there's different variations of the same keyword that people are searching for. And what I would really like to see is I would like to see these three lead sources actually just com combined into one. And let's just say it's Bing Organic. And I would want the contacts all reassigned to that one lead source so that my revenue, the number of customers, and all my conversion percentages actually made sense. So this is the detailed data that you'll get from iTracker. This is the data that's coming from Infusionsoft, and all this stuff is inside your Infusionsoft account. Now, here's what the lead source organization feature that we wrote uh, will do for you. So if I go to Sheet 2, this is the same report, but here's a different version of it. I actually just created a lead source called Infusionsoft Marketplace. 
and I combined these two lead sources into one lead source. So you can see the totals for expenses, the total for revenue, and then the new ROI calculations and the conversion calculations. And likewise for being organic and you know the different variations of the keyword, I just created a being organic lead source for you know demo purposes and these are all summed up, the contacts are all added together and so forth. So basically what we're trying to do is make your lead source ROI report a lot more legible and readable where you have these more simpler lead sources where these are the lead sources you're going to enter all your expenses under and then you want to categorize these lead sources. So instead of maintaining and managing all of these, you really only have to focus on these main lead sources. Now the problem is that you can log into Infusionsoft. You can find everybody with this lead source and then reassign them to the Infusionsoft Marketplace lead source and do this and then reassign them. Now you'll have to manually go into each contact and reassign them. Uh, it's, it, it's very time consuming. It's, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of room for error. Now the other alternative to do this is use our lead source organizational feature. And what you would do is you would log into Infusionsoft and you would create a lead source called Infusionsoft Marketplace. And under that lead source inside Infusionsoft, that's where you would enter all your expenses for the Infusionsoft Marketplace. So this is the lead source called Infusionsoft Marketplace. And I just put a description, this is a main lead source and I set the category. And so you can enter all your expenses there and inside the member section what I now want to do is now that I've designated my main lead sources I can go in here and organize my lead source groups so let's find the Infusionsoft marketplace this is the main lead source and then any contacts that come in with any of these lead sources will now be reassigned nightly to this one main lead source so when you look at your Infusionsoft ROI report, you can disregard all of these lead sources since there's not going to be any contacts assigned to these and they'll all be assigned to just one lead source called Infusionsoft Marketplace. And likewise, you can do this for different, you know, other, other lead sources as well. So the lead source organizational feature really gives you the ability to manage and maintain your lead source ROI report. Now every night if a new lead source is created or a new contact comes in and, and is assigned one of those old lead sources, you can see that you know if somebody came in with marketplace.infusionsoft.com referral link, the old lead source, this contact inside Infusionsoft will now be reassigned to the Infusionsoft Marketplace lead source. So this will happen nightly. You'll have these nightly pushes that happen and all you have to do is just come in set your lead source groups so designate the main lead sources and then just organize all your lead sources under a main lead source and the eye tracker system will take care of this nightly if you wanted to push a change immediately if there are people that are needing their lead sources updated you can just click push changes and it will actually trigger the uh, update immediately instead of waiting you know at midnight so that's the lead source organizational feature which is located inside the iTracker member section. There is some setup to do uh, to get this to work and I'll cover that in the next videos. Thanks.